3A really quickly. What for you is your favorite movie about sleep? Now, this is interesting because I've asked this question before, and a lot of times students go, what are you talking about? There's, that, that would be a boring movie. Read it. Think about a film where sleep or the lack of sleep is central to the film, central to the plot line. Think about the stories that you know about of people who go to sleep and then wake up but long after the fact. Some of you immediately go, oh, yeah. How about somebody, for example, who's in, an, in, in a wreck, goes into a coma. By the way, that's called sleep. Right. Goes into a coma and then comes out of it years later. Do you know a movie like that? Write a title down like that if you know a movie like that. And how everything has changed. Right? How everything has changed. Nothing is the way it once was when that individual wakes up. What's your favorite movie of insomnia? Where a character in the film can't sleep. What is your favorite movie about that? Filmmakers have often tried to somehow portray what that's like. Night after night, can't sleep. Try and sleep. Keep waking up. What is your favorite one about that? All right, let's jump to 3B. Obviously, the questions abound. I'll just begin with a couple of simple ones. Are you a sleeper? Are you a sleeper? That is to say, are you capable of good rest? Are you capable of good sleep? And what is for you, you can write it down this way at 3B, what is for you your code of sleep? Like, what is that for you? What are the rules for you with sleep? And how does this poem align with those rules or that code for you? How is it different? Let's ask another 3B question. When for you was sleep the most difficult in your life? When for you was sleep the easiest? Okay. Think about it seasonally. Do you sleep better in one of the four seasons? Do you sleep better in summer? Some students say I do because I don't have school. Other students say I don't because I have to get up and go to work. Do you sleep better in the winter? when it's cold and snowy and gray outside. Some students say, yes, that's the best time to sleep. Other students say, I don't sleep very well then. I don't know why, I don't sleep very well then. Finally, let's ask this question. In what ways for you are you defined by sleep? That is to say, sleep or its absence. When was the last time you begged yourself to be able to sleep? When was the last time that happened for you? When quite literally you could say, please just let me sleep. I wish I could just sleep. Right? And what are your techniques that you use if you cannot sleep? How do you put yourself to sleep? Do you have a way of doing that? I was just having this conversation yesterday with a senior who was telling me about, I cannot sleep. I'm driving myself not able to sleep. I'm trying all different kinds of quote unquote techniques to put myself to sleep and it is not working out for me. What does that, what is that like for you? How, what is your magic pill? Let's say it that way. What is your magic pill for going to sleep? What is that like for you? Well, there you go, Sonnet 39. And by the way, remember what I said earlier. You're gonna have to answer questions about these different poems on the exam. And they're going to be titled by this numbering system. For example, this poem, Sonnet 39. You may want to try to invent a mnemonic or a way to try to remember that Sonnet 39 is the sonnet about sleep. So try and figure out maybe a code system in your mind that allows you to be able to do that. All right? Questions? Okay, enjoy, uh, enjoy your prep work for the exam.